Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, dude. All right. Let's all right. They're building an yeah. audience. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Building an audience. Yeah. 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 Y
Show sure. my ring off one more time. Charity, is Diamond Dave in Augusta? Is he located in Augusta? No, or? Diamond Dave is not in Augusta. I believe he's in Ohio. Ohio, okay. I believe so. Don't uh, don't hate me, Dave. I, I cannot remember what state. I believe it's Ohio. Though. Um, he's a super cool dude. He's been part of the Rec Tech Nation for, I don't know, it's got to be at least a couple of years now. He's a Rec Tech awesome. owner, so we love him. So shout out to Diamond Dave. He's made uh, a couple of bracelets for Ray. He's made nice. a couple weeks for Ron. Uh, so he's an awesome juror. So shout out to him. My Valentine's Day was awesome. Uh, Mardi Gras ended on Tuesday, yeah. Fat Tuesday. So, did you find the baby in the uh, King Cake? I did not. I was not, not this the guy. year. No, not this year. Not this year. I missed out. <laughs> My wife found the baby like five years straight before we had our baby. So I don't believe it's you know. There's, I don't know if you find the baby, it's not meant to mean you're gonna have a baby. It's maybe just, prosperity. Yeah, I think prosperity. Okay, cool. Matt shaking his head. He's the Creole. And he knows exactly what it what it means. Um, other news, Ray is in Aspen. Hopefully he's having a great time. I told him to drink a lot of water yes. and purchase some of those oxygen um, cans so that way he doesn't get, uh, what is it, oxygen? Yeah, the, like from uh, altitude? Oh, man. For right. altitude. We're at yeah. six minutes already. Crap. Um, but it's 48 days until Masters Week, so we're getting excited here in Augusta. Um, let's go ahead and get us started. So if you guys don't know baby bok choy, I got it right here. It's like a Korean cabbage? Or? It's uh, Japanese. Japanese yeah. cabbage. You can get this at your grocery store. A lot of folks just saute this, really. Uh, me, I, we have an idea to uh, wrap it in bacon. So what I'm gonna do, it's just one little baby bok choy. We've already prepped a little bit. I'm actually gonna cut it in half first. You guys can see that. See how it looks on the inside, beautiful. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of that Dirty Girl seasoning on the inside. And then we're gonna wrap it in bacon. Jerry, where'd you come up with this idea for the bok choy wrap bacon? <laughs> we, were, we were sitting in our little media area just trying to think of cool things to do. And uh, I don't know, we got on the subject of bacon wrapped everything. And I, you know, as it says on the seasoning, I love everything Asian. Okay. So I, you know, they're bacon wrapped asparagus, there's bacon wrapped pickles now. So right. I said, screw it, we can bacon wrap some baby bok choy. I love it. And then we'll put <clears throat> some toothpicks. And then we'll just put a little toothpick in there, that way it doesn't come out. And we're good to go. I'm going to do this at uh, 350 degrees for about 30 to 45 minutes. We're going to do it on the cooking mat. And then, um, you know, that'll take about 30, 45 minutes. Chef Johnny, you want to show us uh, what you got going on? Yeah, so I, I'm going to do two different types of bread. Uh, what I have here is a French baguette that we've gone ahead and sliced up, sliced in half, and then sliced up into diamonds. I don't know if you can see that, uh, which makes it easier to stuff. Um, so I'm just going to stuff the first one with, I have some nice prosciutto. I'm just going to lay it right on in there. And then we're going to go with a little bit of fresh basil we got cut up. So this is another use for bread. Yeah, so if you have like, yeah, if you have a French baguette or some bread laying around the house, this is a great idea to throw it on top of your um, uh, rec tech and get it going. We're gonna top it with a little bit of butter. Yeah, that looks really nice. And then we're gonna hit it with pesto. Get yeah, so you get it. Yeah, you got to get it in the crevices. That's where the good stuff's at. Is the crevices. So when you pull it apart, it's all going to be mixed in there really well. And we're going to do this on the bull, is that right? Yes, sir. We're doing it on the bull. All right, and then we're going to top it with a little mozzarella cheese. We have it shredded up. Man, it's already looking delicious. Yeah, and besides just eating bread by itself, I mean, this is a good, good uh, thing to do with some bread. Yeah. Uh, what other some, some other uses that we you know if we've got some stale bread or some old bread lying around the house? My favorite thing to do with uh, stale bread is bread pudding. Oh, awesome! You know, it's really easy and it does better when when the bread is old because the liquid absorbs more into it, so you don't have like a runny bread pudding. It's more like solid and firm. Awesome. So I got a piece of aluminum foil cut up. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and wrap this. 
When you're wrapping it, you don't want it to touch the top of the bread because you've got cheese on the top. So we're kind of like folding it so it doesn't, the top doesn't touch. And that's going to be our first one. All right, and then our second piece we're going to do here is going to be a pizza inspired bread. So we're going to start with butter. Make sure it's saturated really nice. And then we're going to hit it with marinara. And I could eat it just like this right now. So. Is that how you take your bread? I could. I can. Okay. All sure. right. <clears throat> Rosie Banconi. Rosie Banconi. Thanks for, uh, I saw her watching uh, us cutting up that uh, beef clod. And for those of people who don't know, uh, what's the other name for a clod? Because that's not like, typically if you're going to go to your, your butcher, if you're just an average person, you don't know what a clod is. You're no, like, no, no, yeah, it's just a beef shoulder, a whole beef shoulder. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Right. So then I got some uh, nice sausage that we've gone ahead and browned off. We're going to go ahead and stuff this right in here. And you browned that in the matador? I did. Browned up perfect, too. I had that flame on uh, nice and low and just took my time with it. Didn't try to rush it at all. Oh, this is looking fabulous. All right, we're going to go with a little bit more basil on top of this. Heck yeah, man. Heck, let's throw some prosciutto on top of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And we're not counting calories, so it's all good. No, and we always, you know, we want to take it to the limit. Right. You know, we want to max it out. Yeah, for yeah, sure. for sure. You know, we live the Rectech lifestyle. Yeah. So I have another piece of uh, lemon foil. We're going to go ahead and just top this with um, Mott's. Nice. And this is something super easy that anybody could do. Anybody, it? yes. This is like cooking 101 right here. This would be great if this all you had was some bread. You can go pick up the rest of these ingredients. Fairly cheap. I would say under $10 you could get all this stuff. And you're eating. You're eating. All right, so we're going to wrap this up. What temp do you think we'll... Uh... Um, this on the bullseye at? So it's for for this particular bread, uh, I'm gonna go for 350 for about 15, 20 minutes. Okay. But it depends on what kind of bread you use. So it should have cooking directions on the bread that you pull out. So just go by the cooking directions and, and you'll be fine. Sweet, with sweet. Yeah. Sweet, so we're gonna And so we have also we're gonna do cheesy potatoes. So what I did was I already prepped this up and I had cut my potatoes into about an inch by an inch uh, dice. Um, so they're nice and kind of thick. Um, and then I went ahead and sh we shredded up our Swiss cheese already and I have some garlic there and I have heavy cream And what we're going to do when we assemble all this We're just going to strain the water out of the potatoes and You may ask why do I have water on my potatoes? It's so that the potatoes don't turn brown um, It's just a good habit to get into in this particular dish It won't matter because we're cooking them all the way uh, Like they're going to be covered so you won't be able to tell if they're brown But it's just a good habit to get into when you're peeling potatoes and dicing potatoes Go ahead and just drop them in some water um, so yeah, so we're gonna get ready to put these on the matador and, and we're gonna get it going. Sweet man. Yeah. So we've got uh, the beef clod that we're gonna pull and slice a little later. We're gonna make some sliders out of that. We're gonna do these bacon wrapped baby bok choys. Chef Greg, uh, Chef Greg, <laughs> Chef John. Shout out Chef Greg. Mm -hmm. Chef John is gonna finish up his cheesy uh, potatoes, kind of like an au gratin potato. We're gonna finish up this bread and I've got a surprise for you guys. We're gonna do some tomahawk ribeyes with some compound butter. Oh, yeah. um, I've already got you know a little bit of uh, my seasonings for the compound butter. I've got a, a, a shallot. It's probably about two or three tablespoons of all of this stuff, but a shallot, rosemary, thyme, uh, and some garlic. About two tablespoons each. We're gonna use uh, four sticks of butter. And that'll be a good compound butter. We'll put it all together. We'll put it in some cellophane. Um, I've already got some made, but we'll show you how to make it a little later. But I did want to show you with you guys that we've got a tomahawk, two tomahawk ribeyes coming uh, to show you how awesome, you know, all of these girls can sear off. So, um, you got anything, yeah. Chef John? Tomahawk, nice piece of meat though. I know, right? I love it. I know, I love them. They're, and it smells amazing before it's even cooked. Um, so we're going to come back. It's going to be awesome. We'll be back what, about 45 minutes to an hour to show you guys uh, finishing off Funday Friday. We're going to go ahead and put all this stuff on the grill. And well, we might be back a little earlier to show uh, everybody the potatoes on the matador. So thank you guys so much. Shout out to Diamond Dave again. Come back in a little bit. We'll be doing uh, finishing everything off. Thank you guys. Thank you. Ah, lightning and the thunder. Thunder. Feel the thunder. <laughs> lightning and the thunder. I like that. Where's Matt Lena? He knows that song. And I also like that song. Uh, you ain't getting oh if if he's playing under you you ain't getting over him. <laughs>
Because that's right, ladies. If if you laying under him, you ain't getting over him. Ain't happening. Mm. Ray Carnes checking in. Hey, Ray! <laughs> hey! Thunder! Also, Buka. It's not Japanese. Yeah. But. It's not. It's not. Ray, what does Asubuka mean? I, I, you know. Ray knows what Asubuka means. Diamond Dave finally made it. Diamond Dave! Fist pound, Diamond Dave. Diamond Dave. Shine her up. I don't know if Ray's seen it. Ray, have you seen my ring? You see what I got for Valentine's Day? What is Matt? What is what? what uh, let me see what it says. What does it say? Enter. <laughs> <laughs> so Ray Carnes knows what Asubuka means for sure. <laughs> uh, inside joke, everyone. You can't have that one. We keep that one on the inside for the. Speaking of joke, didn't you have a? I do have a joke. Yeah, joke. I do have a beef joke since we're you know doing tomahawk ribeyes. We got that. Gigantic beef clod finished in 20 hours on the RT680. So, Chef John, what do you call? I'm gonna screw it up. A cow that twitches. What do you call a cow that twitches? I don't know. What do you call a cow that twitches? Beef jerky. Uh, ah! Yeah. 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 Thanks for reminding me. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. I was totally gonna breathe out. What do you call a, a cow with a meth problem? Beef jerky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough fun. Let's get to work. Let's do it. I'm gonna go ahead. I uh, got that. Remember, guys, the baby bok choy. I cut them in half. I uh, seasoned them with Dirty Girl uh, Bloody Mary rub. Available at RecTechGrills.com. It's $10.99. All orders over $99 is free shipping. So I wrapped them. You can see I've uh, secured our bacon with some toothpicks. Compliments to Josh Tahan. Thank you for your toothpicks and toothpick holder, Josh Tahan. We love you. We're gonna go in the stampede. I'm gonna show you guys. I'll put it here on the table. But I've got the office stampede set up right there. And you can see when I lift this lid, in real time, that temperature is gonna change. So we got them going on the stampede, 590 square inches of cooking surface. You can also see the three holes that are going to release the smoke and heat evenly across the whole surface. You got a super even cooking surface across the whole area. You got the 30 pound hopper, gets you through about 30 hours of continuous cook time. You can also uh, control and monitor your cook from your wireless device like I have here. And so we've had this one on a little while. Let's check out the temp chart for it. Please forgive us. The Wi-Fi isn't the most forgiving back here. All the way in the back of the warehouse. You see here? We're going to turn probes off because we're not using them. And then it's 375 it's stuck at 375 uh, the whole time here 375 375 375 you can see it went down here at 308 so you can actually you know chart your cooks so there's that one and then now uh, what we're gonna do for John we're gonna put some bread on the bullseye yes sir I got the bread that we already uh, prepped up there's two different kinds the, the Italian inspired bread with the pesto oh. and the prosciutto and then we have the pizza sausage pizza so we got our grill set at 350. We're going to go ahead and throw this bread on. You can do that with or without the uh, yes. sear kit, right? I Yes, I just put the sear kit on there to give me a nice flat surface so that the bread wouldn't tip and not be those ingredients over there. And we're just going to close that bad boy up. How many, what is that, six, uh, six yeah. 12 inch sub rolls? Yeah. Looking like it's going to fit on there. Sweet. Hot. We're gonna turn her up a little bit. It's kind of 
Nope, sorry, Kim. Alright. So, for the creamy potatoes, I, I went ahead and drained the water off of my potatoes. These are about an inch by an inch. Yep, about an inch by an inch cut. Um, just straight peel. We're going to go ahead and dump these in the matador. Oh, yeah, that looks great. That looks great. That looks perfect. And we're gonna go ahead and throw a couple teaspoons of garlic in here. Throw all of that. Throw all of it in there? Throw all of that. Alright, let's do it. Just throw it all in. Yeah. And shout out to uh, Dama Dave again. Uh, for those of you wondering, he is in Cleveland, Ohio. So if you're looking for any amazing jewelry, handcrafted, beautiful craftsmanship, shout out to Dama Dave Gangle in beautiful Cleveland, Ohio. Alright, then we're gonna go with heavy cream. I have uh, four quarts of heavy cream, three quarts of heavy cream that I'm putting in here. We got four if you needed to. Yeah. Oh yeah. I wish y'all could smell this. It smells already, it smells delicious with just the garlic getting warm in there. And then we're gonna finish it with a little bit of chicken broth. And if Ray was cooking this, he would probably do beef broth or vegetable broth just to be different. Okay. So, <laughs> right? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. And then we're going to put, this is the secret part. You could either use, we have uh, chicken bouillon, but you could use chicken base or chicken bouillon. We're going to go ahead and crumble that up in here. And I have three uh, tablespoons of the chicken bouillon is what we're putting in. That was probably about... 15 pounds of potatoes and three quarts of heavy cream. We're gonna go ahead and mix this. Yeah, it's already starting to smell amazing and delicious. This is a super, super simple dish. Like, you know, it's like uh, cover the top, mix it, cover the top, and forget about it. Just let it simmer. So we're gonna get all, all those ingredients mixed in there real well. And then I've got the Swiss cheese. Now I'm only going to put half of it in now, and then we're going to finish it with the other half. Um, we're going to put in two pounds, so it's four pounds total. So I'm going to put two pounds in, and then I'm going to save the other two. So we're going to mix this back up. So I hope you guys are all enjoying y'all's lunch today. I, I don't know what you guys are having. I hope it's not just a P&J sandwich, you know? I hope y'all are eating something good. I wonder what Ray's eating an Aspen today. Right, you know he's eating something good. God, you know, you know Ray, he's going to eat something crazy something. today. Yeah. All right. And this is pretty much done. We're going to go ahead and put a lid on it. And we're going to let it simmer for about 30, 45 minutes. And this lid right here is just a 22 inch uh, pot lid and you know, we had a 22 inch pot um, that we had laying around here that we used for uh, crab boils, crawfish boils, and low country boils. Uh, so that fits perfectly on our matador. Uh, you can easily get one of those on Amazon. Uh, just a 22 inch pot handle uh, is going to be perfect to fit that matador. About how long will this take shift? About 30, 45 minutes. We're just going to let it simmer on low on the matador, the lowest flame you have, the lowest setting we have, and uh, it's going to be perfect. It's going to come cool. out perfect. What kind of seasoning? You want to put some Ben's pepper dust on yeah, there? Yeah, let's throw some Ben's. Greek. Let's put some Greek on there. Greek? Yeah. This is cold and it's freaking Greek that he's putting on there, guys. Very herbaceous, very fresh tasting. It's got large chunks of the herbs in there. And you notice that I didn't use salt and pepper, so we're just using this instead of salt and pepper. Oh, that looks great. And these seasonings have very large uh, pretzel salt in them, so you know, you'll get some texture as well as that salty, briny flavor from them as well. Delicious stuff. About how long will the bread take, Chef? Bread's going to take about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. We'll be ready to pull off and we'll let it rest, and then when we unfold it, we'll So we're going to let the bread rest, too. Yeah, we're going to let the bread rest. Cool. Yeah. I've never let the bread rest before. I always just dive right in and burn them the roof of my mouth. Yeah, so. see, you gotta you let it rest so you can get all the flavors. You're not burning your mouth. You can taste everything. Yeah, 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 very for sure. sure. And then, of course, you know, we still got this baby bok choy. It'll probably take about four, 30, 45 minutes. Check it out. It's going. I'm gonna move this one right here because it's right in the path 
of where all of our heat is coming from and convexing. Remember, it comes from the front and back and convexes and then exits your machine. Jerry, that looks delicious. Thanks, man. Yeah. And then we've got the bull heating up. It's set on full. Uh, we just turned it on about 20 minutes ago. We're sitting at 468. It's going to get above 500. I'll show you the setup. We've got the searing kit on the right hand side. You always want to put it on the right hand side when you're up at those super high temps because there's uh, less likelihood of a grease fire. The eggs get the, the eggs. The <laughs> grease is going to exit the machine a lot quicker. Uh, and, you, know, you can see I just doubled up on our original grate over here. I put the searing kit on the right hand side. And uh, those, uh, that raised grate is going to give the, that tomahawk ribeye some, a really great uh, sear mark or whatnot. And those will take about 20 minutes. We usually do about 10 minutes a side on those. Uh, but yeah, we'll be back probably in about 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, we'll put on the tomahawk ribeyes. We'll pull, the bread will already be off. We'll pull off those potatoes, pull off the baby bok choy, and we'll be ready. Yeah. We're living the, light, the rec tech lifestyle. We're about to make some lunch for everybody. Yes, sir. Cheers. I, I've been using that shelf, and I've just been putting it on the edge of the shelf and getting down on it. Oh. This is not the Florida State tomahawk chop. This is the Atlanta Braves tomahawk chop, everyone. Oh. Sorry, everyone. Tomahawk ribeyes. You visit the new uh, SunTrust Stadium, look for the Flanagan family brick. Uh, we recently purchased last year a brick and it says Flanagan family fans for life and it's got the big Atlanta A on it so look for it that's mine and my family's brick <laughs> but yes today the star of our show is our tomahawk ribeyes that we got uh, from an awesome meat purveyor Halperns out of Atlanta we've got two of them here this one Chef John has graciously trimmed up for us and we've actually uh, covered it with some aluminum foil. That way we protect the bone and it does not burn. This one we're going to do Stevie style. And we're going to season the bone and show you guys you know, how each one turns out. Uh, that way you can figure out for yourself, for yourself uh, what's the better way to do it for you and your family. So you're going to keep it simple with these. You want to be able to taste the delicious meat. Get in here close. Check out the marbling. Of these guys check out the fat in there what what uh what is this chef greg if you're out there this is his favorite part of the steak um it's my wife's favorite part of the steak we just recently did that so we're gonna keep it simple just gonna put a little bit of olive oil on both of these just a little bit again again we want to be able to taste this delicious grass fed animal We also have a video up with Ray and Stevie on how to cook these bad boys very soon. Okay, I'm also just gonna stroke this bone a little bit. Sorry everyone. Everyone just gave me the old stink eye on that one. Sorry, I didn't mean to, just gonna get it a little wet, uh, lotioned up. Uh, uh, moving on. Uh, Pat that down. Jody, what season are you using? This, I'm using the Ben's Bangin' Brisket Rub. <laughs> oh my God, old school, using the Ben's Heifer Dust, available at rectechgrills.com. Okay, I'm gonna Stevie style this one, so we're gonna season the bone too. This is Stevie Frederick style. Now, Chef John, Stevie told me an interesting uh, story about you guys when y'all were living together. If you guys did not know, Chef John and Stevie, Ray's little buddy, actually lived together for a little while while y'all were in Macon, correct? Yes, sir. We sure did. And he was telling me about this story that uh, 
that when you you know used to come home, you know you worked your butt off, you know, and you had these shoes, and you, when you took the shoes off, they Hers. said they had the smell to them. They were horrendous. They were horrendous. Horrendous. So he tells me the story. And he he prefaces it with that story first, right? And then he said that one day he came home from a hard day's work and. He opened up the door and you're sitting there on the couch with your shoes off, your socks off, and there was a lady with your foot in her mouth. Oh yeah, oh that happened. And he said that uh, you looked up at him and just immediately did this number while the lady was down there at your feet. Where Stevie, would, you know, he was just flabbergasted. Well, and yeah. how that young lady was down there and was able to stay down there. Yeah, no, that's a true story. That's what, awesome. And what do you do when someone has a foot fetish and you haven't you know, showered yet and you just gotta open up? <laughs> you know? Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I, so that was our first edition of Stevie Stories. You guys know we have the Ray Stories on uh, Meat Sweats, and that was our first edition. Well, Chef John Stevie Story. So hopefully you've got a couple. Oh yeah, we've got, we've got tons of Steve. Okay, perfect. Yeah, perfect. tons of Steve. So that was the first edition. Sorry to gross anybody out. <laughs> and that, who's but I didn't want to bring that well, up. Who's grossed out my sticky feet? Whose feet don't stink when right? you work twelve hours? Right. Right. Come right. on, working your butt off. Come well, it's on. different okay. than every stinky feet and have someone suck your toes. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but I guess as long as you're not <laughs> sucking the toes, it's hey, okay. And as long I think if, toe if that girl's watching, <laughs> oh, thank, no. you, thank you very much. That was great. You did a great job. Thank you very much. Living the rec tech lifestyle, everybody. Hey, All right. It's hard. Wait, 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 wait. Before we do anything, I want to get y'all set up, get you ready, get you to see what's going to go down. What we're going to do, we want to cook these until an internal of 125, 130 degrees. We do not want to go over because we're going to let them rest. Uh, and that, that rest is actually going to take them up to about uh, medium. So we've got our grill. It is set on full, which is 500 above. We are sitting at about 541 degrees. I've had the searing kit in there, and we've actually had this grill running for about 45 minutes to an hour, just heating up. And we are sitting at about 542 degrees. So anytime you're wanting to do anything on the searing kit, make sure the grill is hot, 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 okay? So we're gonna put these beautiful tomahawks on there. Oh, and you guys can hear that, obviously. You can see that sizzle. Those look great on there. We're gonna close them up. And we're gonna turn them a quarter turn in about five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and whip out my timer. But we're gonna turn them a quarter turn in about five minutes. Like I said, we've got a video coming up with Ray and Stevie, uh, how to cook the perfect one of these. We've already done it a couple of times this week, so I know going to be about five about ten minutes aside uh, about five minutes every turn um, so I'm just going to start the timer five minutes hit I'm gonna hit it quarter turn five minutes I'm gonna flip it five minutes I'm gonna do a quarter turn after five minutes it's, it should be done it's gonna be a perfect mid rare and we're gonna let it rest and it'll raise up to about a medium okay uh, but yeah check these bad boys out one more time the next time you will see us these things will be coming off so, thank you guys so much for joining us all day today um, over here, just want to shoot it back to Chef John. So we have uh, the potatoes that we've been cooking for about 45 minutes to an hour. You can see now they're starting to get nice and thick. That cream's thickened up really nice. That cheese is starting to bind together on the potatoes. Um, it's so thick. Yeah. Chef, this, is, this looks amazing. Doesn't it? Doesn't look good. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells even better. That roasted garlic is really starting to uh, pull through. It's delicious. I mean, look how thick. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's super, super thick. That's exactly what you're looking for, right? Yes, it sure is. It's super, super easy. It was like three, four steps, and this thing was done. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, cream, cream, garlic, yep. cheese, cheese, the the dust, the Cody's uh, seasoning. Oh, Colden's, Colden's and potatoes, and the potatoes. So you're looking at about five, five things you need: Colden's, garlic, cheese, um, cream, potatoes. And done. One pot and done. Sweet. Took about what? 45 minutes? 45 minutes, minutes to an hour. Yeah. And he did low medium. Yeah, so. low medium. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome, man. Thank you so much. It's, yeah. It's, it's, guys, when we taste this later, it's going to be unbelievable. Well, we'll be back in about uh, 20 minutes. We'll be cutting into these ribeyes, uh, showing you guys exactly how awesome and delicious and easy they are uh, on the pellet grill. So thanks, man. Yes, sir. See y'all in about 20 minutes. Got it.
Okay, start on that. <clears throat> I look better. Butter looks great. Oh, oh. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Why do they call that a tomahawk? Well, <clears throat> Matt, the reason why they call this a tomahawk ribeye is because it actually looks like a tomahawk. Yeah. Um, tomahawks are the traditional tomahawks are the traditional acts of Native Americans. It looks like a tomahawk. That's why they. Oh, hey everyone! Am I? Mm -hmm. Great. I just wanted you guys. To see our, um, well, we need a couple of spoons. Now, will you give us a couple of spoons so we can taste some of this delicious potatoes out rotten? We also have our wonderful uh, tomahawk ribeyes. We've got our 30 pound beef shoulder clod that we cooked for 20 hours on the RT680. 225 to 250 with uh, the ultimate blend pellets. We've got our bacon wrap bok choy, and then we've got our awesome uh, stuffed bread, courtesy of Chef John. We'll do a time and temp rundown. Time and temp. We'll start back over here. Chef John, we did these at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes, yes, correct? We yes, did these sir. on the bullseye. They were wrapped in aluminum foil. Our bacon wrap bok choy was cooked on the stampede, and it was at 375 for about 45 minutes. I took it a little over because I wanted to, this is my first time ever, literally ever cooking this, and I wanted to make sure everything was done, so we took it to 45 minutes on this stuff. Our beef shoulder clod, our 30 pound beef shoulder clod, it took about 20 hours, and it finished up uh, just after we got here today. Um, like again, like I said again, about 20 plus hours on this bad boy. Our tomahawk ribeyes took about 15 to 20 minutes to get to an awesome medium. We've let them rest for about 10 minutes now. You can see our compound butter uh, has melted on top there. Um, that's freaking awesome. And then uh, Chef John with the creamy potatoes, and they were about 45 minutes to an hour on the matador. And you did these at uh, low medium, heat, low right? medium, cool. yes, sir. Cool. Let's try these uh, these bad boys for sure. These are gonna be. I already know these are gonna be awesome. So. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. It's so thick. Yeah, I could just. You just like the sauce. You wear it. I just double dip. Yeah, I'm it's a, so good. I'm a triple dip. I got it on my beard. I see. Yeah. <laughs> I got it on my beard. That's how good it is. It's all down my belly. <laughs> I'm coming back for seconds and thirds. I swear it's awesome. That's good stuff. Everybody behind me is like, you got it everywhere, Patty. <laughs> oh my God. You guys have got to try that. It's super simple. Five ingredients. Yeah. One pot. Took five 45 ingredients. minutes to an hour. Yeah. So good. That's so awesome. good. Yeah. Oh, cool. We've got some customers here um, in the showroom right now. Actually, uh, looks like it's sandblasted or either got a sticker textured on there. Textured engravings. Textured engravings on here. Wow. Just want to send a shout out to them. Thank you, David, for showing Ooh. us that. All right, next, we'll wait on these tomahawk ribeyes. We'll, we'll make you guys wait on those. The next thing, we're going to make a couple sandwiches. David's been biting at the. I'm starving. Yeah. Biting at <laughs> Biting at lip for these things. So, this is even parts horseradish, even parts mayonnaise. Got a little bit of provolone cheese here. And what I'm going to do is, oh wow. Oh wow. Charity, that looks so good. Look at that. It's that just, looks good. <laughs> Look at that. You guys can obviously see the smoke ring in there. Picture perfect. Right? David? That shouldn't be too bad there. No, it's going to be freaking awesome. Chef, this is yours. Oh, thank you so much. I apologize, I'm not doubled up on my gloves. What you think? Mm. Is it good? Tastes like pulled beef? Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. If you guys go to your barbecue restaurants or anything like that, your pulled beef is essentially going to come from this shoulder, the shoulder clog. Mm. Yeah, I mean it's just... Jody, make you want to slap somebody. Oh. Yeah, might want make to slap me want to suck on some toes? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Shout out Stevie Fredericks. <laughs> 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 
so good. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Very good. Rick Bishop. And this cooked while we were not here. You know, we put it on the RT680. We've got the updated Wi-Fi controller. I was able to monitor it all night. Um, before I got here, I cut it down a little bit because I saw it creeping up a little fast. This is just amazing. It is so good. I wish you guys could be here. Mm. Mm. Yeah, some good beef, man. Yeah. We put a half a gallon of Al's juice sauce in there. So that, that thing better be good. All right. And Chef, you want to do uh, the, the honors on this uh, ribeye? This ribeye? I'm, I'm going to come on. Be an honor. Right. honor. And you can see, you know, uh, Chef wrapped this one. Um, and this was the unwrapped, um, unbutchered side. Yep. So we're going to take the aluminum foil off here so y'all can see what the bone looks like after we wrap it all up. Mm. How much did the shoulder weigh as far as the smoking? It was 30 pounds. You see how the bone came out very really nice and clean? Oh, wow. It's ready to roll. So just two different styles for you guys to choose from. Right, we're gonna go ahead and slice this bad boy. Remember guys, you always wanna slice against the grain? Yes, for tender, juicy meat. Oh man. Oh Already yeah, fat. baby. Already found. Yeah. I just cried a little. That's what I'm talking about. <gasps> Delicious, perfect medium rare. Jody, here, get you a piece. Mm. Mm. Jody's in heaven. Yeah, choose it. Beep. Oh, yeah. Mm. Come on. Mm. Come on. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. <clears throat> you can order these in a restaurant, you can get them at your Roost Chris. You can pay $150 for them all you want to. But hands down, this is 10 times better than I've ever had at any restaurant. Definitely. Cooked on the Rec Tech. And the bonus is you get to sit at your house on your Rec Tech, drink some beers, hang out with your friends. Hang out with your friends. And, and, and the beers aren't $8 a piece. No, you know, you get that good beer. Oh! I'm definitely, I'm telling you, this is the way to go. Ray Cars, you weren't lying when you said these things are awesome, man. Delicious. Cooked perfect. Mm hmm. We use the, uh, the probes that are included in the Wi-Fi, uh, the smart grill technology with Wi-Fi connectivity, uh, the dual probes. We monitored these, the whole cook. We pulled them off at 125 degrees on the dot. Pulled them off, I put them on this um, cutting board. We covered them with a little bit of aluminum foil. We walked back here. It took us about 10 minutes to cut it. And you can see it's a perfect, you know, mid-rare medium. Drop the it's butter on there, the compound butter. That's right. We may, um, and I'm sorry, guys, I didn't come back to you make make the butter, but you know we just essentially had some um, soft butter and we mixed in. I still got the herbs for you guys. Two tablespoons of shallots, two tablespoons of rosemary, two tablespoons of garlic, and two tablespoons of thyme. We essentially made a little log out of that butter. We put it back in the refrigerator, made it let it harden uh, back up, and then we put uh, one up underneath. And then one on top, and then you get this wonderful, delightful perfectness. Uh, and you could kind of see the shallots and the garlic in there, which that's really what I'm wanting right. with any kind of steak is butter and garlic, baby. Definitely. It's the way to go. Uh, tomahawk ribeyes are the way to go for sure, man. Oh, and we still got this. From? We got them from Halpern's uh, out of Atlanta, Halpern's. And yeah, anybody want to try some of this baby bok choy with me? No, I'm going to. Get you some. And this is the first time I've ever cooked this. I don't know how it's going to taste. It's bacon and cake. It's delicious. It's freaking awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like a Brussels sprout. That's exactly what it's like. Really? Yep. It's great. Mm -hmm. Anything with bacon on it, then, you know, I'm a fan. Yeah. I'm a fan. Yeah. Sorry. Watchy. I'm looking like an idiot. Waste not, what not. Woo! <laughs> that ain't bad at all. Mm -mm. I'll be doing that for a Yeah. For a side or after. Oh, yeah, for sure. People will be loving this long time. No. Love it long time. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get some shouts out. John Cook, the, the we wanted to send a shout out to all the winners of our like, share contest from all the videos. John Cook, 
Dobie Boyd, Patricia Rello, Leslie, Leslie, <laughs> Brandon Anderson, Bruce O'Neill, and Michael Davlansky. All of those folks have reached out to us. They've all claimed their prize. We just want to send a shout out to you guys. Congratulations. Thank you for winning. You too can win. If you follow us on social media, we will have contests here pretty soon. Actually, Y'all want to give away something? You want to give away something? Let's give something away. Dude, what do you want to give away? Why don't we give away a matador? Let's, let's give away a matador. Up, you know, let's do it. Yeah. Hiya. Hiya. All right, Chef John. Okay. In honor of you, you give it away. All right. Well, in honor of uh, Ma the Masters Golf Tournament being uh, in 48 days, it'll be here. Um, let's say the first person to correctly yeah. answer this question will get a matador. So, on both uh, Facebook and Instagram. So, we're going to give away two matters. Oh, we're giving away two. Big time now. Yeah. All right. I Why love not? it. I Why love not? it. I love it. So, who was last year's green jacket winner is the question. Oh, that's a tough one, but yeah, easy you know? for folks that live here in Augusta. Totally easy. And easy if you're a golf fan. But, you know, the first two people to answer correctly, first person off of Instagram, first person off of Facebook, win a brand new matador. So, come on, guys. We got anybody naming it? Waiting to know. Is it? Jadkins 52. Who? Jadkins 52. Jadkins 52. Jadkins 52. Congratulations. Yes. We need you to dial 855 696 0890. And please ask for Connor. Yeah. He is awaiting your phone call. Who do we got over here? Jason Cox. Jason Cox. Jason Cox. Congratulations, sir. You just won yourself a matador. By, and the correct answer is Sergio Garcia. Yes, Sergio was. Garcia was last year's Green Jacket winner for the Augusta National. Um, the uh, Masters winner. Um, so, what was the uh, Facebook one more time? Jason Cox. Jason Cox. Call 855 696 0890. Please, please, please. Ask for Connor. He's awaiting your phone call, sir. And then one more time, Rachel. Jadkins 52. Jadkins 52. Congratulations. I'm going to get a finger deep in this uh, um, ribeye one more time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ma'am. We got a spread here. Chef John, I really appreciate you coming out and Thanks hanging out. Thanks for having me. I, I loved it. We had a great time. Yeah. Had an awesome time. You're yeah. welcome back at any time. Thank you so much. Remember, if you're on the fence about joining Jones Creek Country Club, this guy will take you over the edge. You'll get a chance to taste his awesome food, his awesome creations. For um, sure. Come on up. I'd love to see you guys. Yep. I'm going to be, I'm going to come Sunday for breakfast. All right. I'm going to be there. I'll be there. Um, ready to cook thank you up. guys so much for joining us. Shout out to Chef John. Thank you Shout guys. out to David, Ben. Matt, Connor, Rachel, Olivia, Brandon, Brandon. and Andy. <laughs> Ray and Aspen. Ray, thank you so much for letting us do what we love to do every day. Ron, thank you as well, sir. Um, we will be back next Friday. I think we're doing scrimps. No? We're doing deer. We're doing axis. Sorry. Change plans. We're doing axis deer. How are we going to cook that, David? We're going to make a roux. Ooh. All right. Yeah, yeah. We're, All right. we're actually going to cook a couple different kind of venison. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. So Dave is going to be joining us next week. He'll show us how to uh, professionally um, cook. Redneck professionally <laughs> <laughs> cook some food. Uh, we'll professionally prepare some venison is how we're going to name it, how we're going to word it. Uh, but thank you guys so much. Again, thank you for the thank you notes, the cards, the emails. All of the swag that we get every day. Shout out. Sorry, everybody. I got two shout outs here. Shout out Mike Spandle. He sent us uh, awesome hats. Mike Spandle with Ring of Fire Barbecue. Shout out to him. Shout out to the wonderful ladies at Kudos to You. They just gave away a bullseye here locally in Augusta, Georgia. Thank you so much. Y'all are awesome. We love y'all. And then shout out to our girl, uh, Girls Can Grill. Um, she is a wonderful Rectech supporter, so if you guys like anything grilling, uh, please visit our friend Christy at Girls Can Grill. Again, thank you guys so much for joining us. We'll see you all next week uh, for venison. It's well, been an awesome Funday Friday. Well, thank thanks you very John. much. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> you want to try this? What? It's, it's, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, you got to try this. Bok choy is a little salty, but a little bit.